guys do not mind me and my natural hair I'm just rocking with it um, I did wash it this morning but that's not what I'm here for <laughs> and I don't have to excuse myself for my natural hair uh, <laughs> so really quick the reason why I'm coming to you guys is because today is Thursday the 15th of November and I had my first day of orientation now let's go back to Tuesday so you guys know I did my background check on Monday Tuesday I made the video just letting you guys know um, that I set up a nope I didn't tell you guys so Monday I got the notification to do my background check I got feedback about, about my background check less than an hour so can come Tuesday I actually received an email saying, oh, thank you. Um, we can proceed to the next step. There was a link for me to go into my job stuff with Kohl's and to pick out a orientation day, date and time. So when I got there, there was one for Tuesday and this Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then there was like Tuesday of next week from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. which we already know my I work nights on my actual full-time job so that wasn't gonna work and I was like let me get this done as, as soon as possible so I selected today which is Thursday for it um so when I got there me and another person um we got put back like in the in the break room which is all connected to everything that's back there, like the offices and stuff. Now, we were there for like, our appointment was at 11. We were there early as it is, but 11 came, then it came like 11.07. I'm like, nobody has come out. So I went back out to customer service, and I'm just like, hey, we're still waiting. Um, I don't want them to think that we're late because we are here. So they had somebody go back and talk to the lady. Um, she's like, oh, tell them this five more minutes. So the guy came back out and said, hey, this is going to be five more minutes. She's, you know, getting everything caught up, which that was cool. But, I mean, good communication is key to say, hey, I'm, I, I know you guys are here. Just wait for me. Um, I wouldn't like that, but that's okay. She was super, super busy, which I can understand. Um, so, anyways, we finally got called back around, like, 11.15. And, um, we basically gave our identification. So I gave like my social security card and my driver's license so she could take a picture. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, we signed off on <clears throat> how we would use the Coles Chrono, um, which is basically an app on your phone where you can check out like your change up your availability um view your time card look at like your balances for like pay time off and so forth that was one um yeah you guys don't need to see this information because this is my employee id number which i will use <laughs> For so the employee ID number that they give you, you'll be using it for, I wrote it down, for the computers, any type of registers, if you're using a cash register, and to dock your time, check in and check out at the time machine. Uh, we went over this policy about the Kohl's employee purchase and returns, and we had to sign off on that. Then we went over this right here, Kohl's Cash and Loyalty Rewards, which we had to sign off on well, as well. And then the last thing was this this one, just acknowledging that um, their associate policies are all online. There's no more booklet. Uh, so we had to sign off on that. Um, they gave us this. So if you guys could see. Um, the dates that will be running will be this Friday to this Sunday. 
and see this one a so 20 percent associate path uh, associate path associate pass and this is it, it lets them know that hey this is the associate pass and the 20 percent friend friend and family so you see for me i can use this that and my regular employee discount which did start today so all together i can get 55 percent off all i have to do is just tear this off and just give it to them also i have all of these friends and family codes so if you guys are interested in doing it online um just so you guys are aware, if you guys want 20% off this Friday through Sunday, to enjoy 20% off at Kohl's.com, you would just use the promo code of SHOPPER20. SHOPPER20. S-H-O-P-P-E-R-2-0. And it does say that there's one per customer. But obviously, I, I I would be able to tear one of these off for you guys, but <laughs> that's not possible when you guys are all in different areas, and I don't know, <laughs> and I obviously wouldn't be able to send it to you guys in time. But that's that. If you like to do online shopping, um, but yeah, I'm sorry because I don't know, um. And, you know, there are some restrictions, it states here, like on selective electronics, premium electronics. Um, yeah, uh, you can't use it on Adidas, Columbia, um, Uggs or Levi, Nike, Timberland, and um under armor so those are just some of them but i'll show you guys if you guys want to read it come on focus uh. hi when i get close it doesn't want to focus my phone knows how, knows how to focus but it doesn't want to do it so i'm sorry you guys but anyways, let's proceed. Um, I got my lanyard. I have my ah, associate um, thing. And the, these two things are on here that, yes, we're hiring. And yes to you rewards. So, yeah, that's that. Um, now, I will be working early morning. And I will be starting it on tomorrow, Friday morning, from starting at 5 a.m. Um, so when I was there, um, the lady, one of the, well, like the department manager, I don't know who she is, but she's like the head of that department for, you know, docking and the truck unload department. Uh... She came in and the person we were dealing with, she just let her know, oh, this is, she's going to be working with you guys. Um, the lady said, yeah, yes, we got a truck coming in tomorrow at 5 a.m. So if you want to start work tomorrow, come on in. I'm like, I'm all game because right now I still haven't heard back from Amazon. I'll probably hear back from them Friday or Saturday um, because my start day I chose is like the 22nd or something so I have time um what else what else so yeah that's gonna be my first day and let me tell you about the holiday pay so they had some papers on the screen not on the screen but information on papers about how you'll get your holiday pay how that's paid out to you for working overnights from working on the holiday and there's like an extra two dollars an hour if you work on the days from a certain time frame. So some of the days I'll be getting paid eleven dollars an hour. Some of the time I'll get paid sixteen dollars an hour. 
So yeah, <laughs> um, I'm super excited. Can't wait to see what they have me on the schedule for. That's going to be fun. Uh, what else can I say? But I'll definitely update you on my actual first day of working. Um, we went on the, the computers and basically I had to, I don't think I have to do WCBTs or CBTs like it's web-based trainings or WBTs. I don't think I have to do it. Um, the other kid, uh, the other person, they will be in shoes, which in the register, um, you know, but I asked, I asked the person for me, do I, would I be cross trained? And she was like, no, but unless you want to, if you want to pick up more hours, um, in other departments, you can. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> I just wanted to see if they would actually have me out on like the floor sometimes. But I guess that's a no, because obviously unloading the trucks, being there early in the morning, that's a lot <laughs> as it is. So I'm like, OK, but she said some people in uh, my department, they have the um, train in other departments just so if they want more hours, they can and to help out. But I don't plan on being there for more than like nine to five hours a day. So like from five to 10 in the morning, um, cause I would want to come home and sleep. Cause as we know, I already get off my, my regular job at 12 at midnight. So yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. um they showed us basically where the dock, where I'll be working at <laughs> in the back of the store and the, um, you know, the receiving area. Also, how to, seeing that I'll be working early morning, how I would buzz myself in or ask for somebody to come to the front. There's like a doorbell. Um, but we did fill out our I-9 information and also our direct deposit information. Now, the I-9 just basically states, yes, you are a U.S. citizen um, information and stuff like that. Um, what else? And there was like a questionnaire for like, for you know how businesses, they can get credit from the government um, for employing certain people, like who have been unemployed or who has received food stamps or uh, public assistance within like a year or two. Uh, so you did it do those questionnaires and I had to do that with Amazon as well but oh one other thing while I'm at this let me show you the clothes that I got now I will say this in the email that I got they were saying business casual and the options they stated was this khakis uh khakis come on Candace skirts dresses button up shirts polo shirts and i'm like so today when i went in i wore a skirt some tights and like a sweater of mine and i asked the lady i'm like because i'm seeing all these people from receiving come in and out some of them are in jeans some of them are in like slacks and I'm like, that's not, I mean, I got jeans from uh, Goodwill. So let me show you guys what I actually got from Goodwill. And I spent like 20 bucks on myself. And like, we went to two different Goodwills. I bought like 20 bucks for myself, 25 bucks for myself. And the rest was spent on my son. So we spent like $120. But my son got more jeans and stuff. And a, a jacket. Um, because I just knew that when I brought him there. He would want something. And I'm fine with that. And obviously it was all cheap. And he got some po Polo Ralph Lauren. Yeah all of that good stuff. But if you guys are interested in seeing what he got from the Goodwill. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to update you guys. All right, so this is the first pair. This is some black jeans. Um, and this is from John Bay. Now, here I am. I'm always thinking I'm smaller than what I am because I always look at myself face up in the mirror. I'm huge. Now, I know I've been losing weight, and every brand fits differently in different sizes. 
So I, I was thinking I can fit into a 14, 16. No, most of the time I had to get 18. But yeah, these are some nice and they're kind of stretchy. Now, uh, most of the jeans were $6.99, which is not bad. Um, They're not even like, the camera's not bringing out the best, but they're not like, they're black, black. So they're not like overwashed where you can start seeing white. Okay, so I got these. Now, this is for both Amazon and Kohl's because I want to be comfortable, um, you know, with picking up stuff. And I got to cover up my belly. <laughs> so, but this is more stretchy material, and this is from White Stag. White Stag. You guys can see that 1618 but it's nice and stretchy that's two here number two here number two I got a grape here and this is from Liz Claiborne nice stretchy material um one moment and then I got this one this is from Lee. Lee's. This is a classic. And this is size 18W. So it gives me room. Size 16 pants would be really tight on me for some reason. Everyone, I kind of try it out. But you know what, this, um, I actually went in the plus size section to get all of these pants. I should have just went to the plus size section in the first place, but here I am thinking I'm smaller than what I, what I am. I went into like the regular lady size, then I tried to get like size 16 and 14. No, that was a no-go, so I actually went to the plus size. And you figure with plus size, it seems like a lot more of their clothes are stretchy. Um, so yeah, these are some blue ones. So, yeah, and they're not going to be super tight or anything. Um, I thought I bought a shirt. For some reason, I felt like I had more stuff. No, I guess it was all my son. I did end up getting my son some uh, dress, like, suit jackets. There was one. I bought one shirt, you guys. But I figured I have enough shirts, seeing that what I'm going to be doing, I could pull off with what I already have. But I definitely needed to get bottoms for both Amazon um, and um, Kohl's. But yeah, the, the shirt just has some stripes on there with different colors. It's pretty, it's cute. It's not a special, it's just like a regular shirt with some stripes. Um... What else? So, yeah, that's it. And I can wear my sneakers. Um, you know, those two, if you guys don't know, I bought two pairs of sneakers for me to work out in. <laughs> um, which are some Nikes and Adidas. So I'll be able to wear those. Those are comfy shoes. Do I plan on getting something during this? I may. I may. Because there's another one of these that will be coming out in December, the lady said. So, I can either get something now or wait for later. Because uh, obviously right now I don't have any extra funds unless I put it on the credit card and pay it off. Uh, what do I plan on doing with this money? From any of these jobs that I'm going to be doing, they all play, pay weekly. I don't know if the first day I'll get paid for Colts. I think it'll probably be next week sometime. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know for sure, you guys. Payday is on Friday of every week. So unless they pay me for Thursday going on to Friday, I don't know how that works. I didn't even ask. <laughs> um, but I plan on putting the money away for building up my emergency cash fund of that $1,000. Right now, I only have 185 accumulated so far, which was from the last paycheck. Um, I can't even believe the holiday is coming up tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but next week on Thursday. I actually got the day off. So, I may tell that my availability is open a little bit more. But, it depends on if I start Amazon. Um, I know Amazon starts sometime next week. I think it's later in the week, like the 22nd. 
Yeah. So yeah, I just got four pairs of pants. So my son got a lot of stuff, you guys, for $120. But you know what? Some of these pants would have been like $100 just on their own. He got those and he got some other famous Nam brand expensive type of clothes. But yeah, let me know. Comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing what he got. But we did pretty good. I was only, I didn't have a limit as to what I wanted to spend. But I tried on all of the clothes. I washed all of the clothes yesterday. I'm happy to know that, yes, I can wear this stuff as well as my sneakers. Um, and I don't have to be dressed up. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't make sense for me to be dressed up. But I played the part based on what the email information stated, what their dress code is. But that's basically for on the floor, I guess. Um, but even for the, the boy, he can wear... Um, Jeans just don't have any rips in them, you know. Make sure it's fashionable. Not fashionable, but make sure it's business safe, <laughs> you know. No holes in there and stuff like that, which, as you guys can see, none of these have it. But I would like to get some more tops. Because I have a lot of, you know, just regular basic white tees, which are, like, oversized and big. Um, because most of them belong to my husband, and I still have them. Um, but I, I mean, I do have other shirts which I can wear, which will be just fine. Um, what else? But yeah, that's it, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, but yeah, it's going to be nice to be able to get some extra pay during certain times working overnight. Um, once I learn that a little bit more, I'll definitely update you guys, but I know some of you have some interviews or had some interviews or your first start dates at Kohl's. Let me know how, how your orientation went. Let me know when your first actual day of work is. Yeah, I was only there for an hour and a half. I got out of there by 1230, um, which I would think I was going to be there till three. I'm like, oh, I'm about to get four hours of pay. <laughs> No, <laughs> it went by really fast. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are finding this information helpful to you. Um, but yeah, I'll talk with you guys later. All right, bye.